Well, hi there, guys. Welcome to Sonic Sports. Um, I'm Dave Wright from Team Sonic, and we're going to go through a little bit of a review on the Sonic um, SKX alarms. Um, something I've been using for some time now. Um, really, really be pleased with them, and I'm going to run you through all of the features. So, just to um, explain what you get, then. So, the set of alarms comes as a set of three. Um, you've got a hard protective case to fit everything in and then each one of the alarm heads has got a rubberized case that it lives in um, and you've got two little removable screw in and screw out um, snaggies so I'll show you them in a bit more detail in a moment. Um, you've also then got your, your receiver itself, it's got a little cradle that it fits in and also like a little wrist strap to put it on to keep it safe. So, so that's the product, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go through it in a bit more detail. Okay then, so let's have a look at the receiver. So the receiver sat on its little uh, table stand. Um, same as on the alarm head itself, you've got the power button in the centre, so we'll switch it on. Um, all of the lights will illuminate to, uh, to show me that it's working. Um, you've got two lines of lights. The top line will illuminate if you get a take, and the bottom line, uh, which is white, will illuminate if you get a drop back. Um, same as on the alarm heads, you've got buttons on the side. So if I just turn it round um, on this side, you have got volume. So you press the volume button and then use the plus and minus to adjust that. And at the bottom, you've got the M button, which is for your vibration mode. So if you want the receiver to vibrate, you can have that option as well. Um, on the other side then, at the top, you've got your S button, your set, uh, setting button. So um, if you press and fiddle around with that, you, um, you can uh, add another alarm. So you can have a fourth alarm. Um, and at the bottom you've got a T button. Now what the T button is, is a torch. So you press the T button and then you press the plus button and then you've got a little torch. So if you're trying to look for something in your bivvy at night, you've always got that little option of having a, uh, a torch. So you press the, down, the uh, minus button to turn it off. So that's the T button. So that then is your receiver that comes with the SKX alarms. Okay then, so here we've got the receiver head then for the uh, SKX alarms. So we switch it on by the power button in the centre. So press and hold that and the LEDs at the top will illuminate. Now they're multi-function colour, um, so you can select whatever colour you want on those. Um, you've got your plus and minus buttons in the middle and you use them for adjusting things like the volume, which is the V button on that side and the tone. So there's seven tone and seven volume settings. So you press the volume button and then up and down on the, uh, the center button. Um, and then on the other side, you've got S for sensitivity. So you've got six sensitivity settings. And at the bottom, you've got the M button. So the M button is for mute. So what you can do is when you're setting your bobbins, um, so that the alarm doesn't keep sounding, you can press the mute button and the alarm will silence for 30 seconds. The LEDs will flash at the top just to let you know. Um, and after 30 seconds, it will rearm. Um, so you haven't got to worry about forgetting. But you can also press the M button a second time and that will rearm. Um, in the little rubber cases, then I said about little snag ears. So you can just see there, you've got two little threaded um, holes, and that's where your snag ears screw in. So if you want your snag ears on there, you can. So that is the alarm head itself. Each alarm head then has this rubberized protective case uh, and inside the case is where you keep your uh, snag ears. So there's two little snag ears that fit inside the rubber case, uh, threaded end and you just screw them into your alarms as and when you need them. So finally then we'll have a little look at the bivy light. So each set of alarms comes with a bivy light. Um, they're programmed into the alarms themselves, so when you get a take, the centre LED will illuminate um, and that will match the colour of the um, receiver, um, so you know um, which one of your alarms is going off before you've even gone out to your rods. The LEDs on the outside edge, they will illuminate. Now you can adjust for how long you want them to be illuminated for and how bright you want them to be illuminated by those two buttons there. You can also just use it as a normal bivy lamp by using the power button on and off there, and then you've got your normal main power button on and off. Uh, also on the back then, you can use the little hook that's in there and you can hang it on the inside of your bivy or bolly. Um, or if you want to hang it on the actual skin of your bivy or bolly, then you can take off that metal plate and then use the magnets to, uh, to attach it. So, so that is your bivy lamp. So there you have it then, that's the Sonic SKX alarms. So if you're in the market for a new set of alarms, definitely check them out.